How's it going everybody? This is James here, back for another episode of Wind Waker. And in this episode, oh, in the last episode, we had got thrown away from the Forsaken Fortress and we got rescued by the King of Red Lions, our brand new boat. And we had arrived to Windfall Island. And what he instructed us to do was to get a sail so that way we can make our way through the Great Sea and see what we can do to um, stop Ganon. Sorry, blanked out for a bit. Stop Ganon from starting his evil ways again. So I know he said there's no playtime, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and disregard what he says. We're gonna go ahead and start by going over here in this prison cell area. Know why the windmill would have a prison cell, but hey, it's a Zelda game, and anything goes. <laughs> and now we get introduced to one of our favorite characters in the Zelda franchise. Hmm, I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the way, the look of you, I'd say, sir, could you by chance be a, a fairy? Goodness, do you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Don't worry. Tingle knows without you telling him. Sir? Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind for I, too, long to be one of you fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken of some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him where you and your kind live in splendor. So now we gotta rescue this guy. Kind of funny type of guy, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Yay! Hooray, thank you so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kululim, bah! Become an item. And we get one of the m kind of most pointless item here now since this is a Miiverse item and Miiverse has shut down very recently. So, sorry Tingle, can't use it. Miiverse, he's just kind of going over it and whatever. What the feature was that you could send, you'll find these little bottles everywhere and you would see posts from people over the internet. So, unfortunately we can't do that anymore. And he also gives us a tingle chart, which don't know what to do with right now, so we'll see a little later. And what he's saying is to give your tingle bottles a little extra oomph, which we can't do. And he said, check the back of the cell. Check it right out. So he's suggesting that there is an extra little thing. Oh, interrupted again here. No, thank you. Go away. What he suggests that we go to the very back of the cell and there isn't a little extra reward for us. He says it's for Miiverse, but it's not only for that, so I recommend still going to go get it. So we just go ahead and go through here, enter kind of like a little labyrinth of some sort. So the only thing about this labyrinth is I would be careful on where you are going because there might be little paths where you can see just a little bit of wood jutting out. And what it has is a rat, and they will uh, trigger a trap door and send you to the very back of the <laughs> very beginning of this place again. So let's go ahead and see if we can find out where to go. What I recommend is following the rupees. See right there, the little wood to the left. So that's where the rat would be. So avoid that. I follow the rupees, so that way this is where you would have to go. And there's the treasure chest. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. That is so important for us. And we got the Picto Box. It is purely just for pictures, as it suggests, which is pretty interesting. And I think they upgraded the capacity from the GameCube version to the Wii U version. So now you hold 12. And I'm not too sure if you hold four pictures or three from the GameCube version. But anyway, 
What I recommend here now is just to go ahead and get captured by a rat, so that way you can go ahead and get out of this place without having to backtrack too much. And right in front of the boat. So great. So we're going to be taking care of a little bit of side quests here and seeing if we can... Yeah, I know he said not to play around, but oh well. We are kids. Now we can see if we can... There is one mini game that I would like to go play and take care of because it is kind of an annoying mini game, but once you get through it, it's pretty fine. And so let's see if we can go ahead and this one. It's 10 rupees for kids. Would you like to play? Yes. He goes into his character. A pretty funny little guy here. So. so what he's saying is that there's three squid groups. A large, medium, and a small. The large one takes four hits the lo the medium takes three and two for small and you only have 24 cannons so let's see if we can do this in the first try so kind of self-explanatory it's kind of like a little battleship type of mini game so you choose a random square and x signifies you miss and we're going to try to find a squid oh so terrible oh there we go and that was the medium one See if we can find any more. There's another one. Got the small one. Check out this side here. Ah, oh, just missed it. Dang it. All right, guys. Well, I will go ahead and cut to when I get the items here. So I will see you all in a bit. And there we have it guys, got beat the high score and used less than 24 cannons. Let's see what the rewards are for this. Get a piece of heart, which is very handy. Our second one. And he notices that we beat it 15, so we get this too. A treasure chart. So these are charts that we're going to go ahead and start collecting. And there is one more reward, so all we have to do for this one is just beat it and under... Well, just beat it for a second time. So I will go ahead and cut to when I get that one as well. second wind here and we get another treasure chart for this okay and then from every time there you get a purple rupee which is worth 50 and for every time you beat your personal high score I believe he gives you a hundred rupees which would be an orange one so not really worth too much to keep going back unless you really like to play that game, but other than that, nah, not for me. <laughs> so the next thing I want to take care of, let's go ahead and stop by these, see what you guys have. Our turf, turf of the world, famous killer bees, don't mess with us. Yay! Mm, just talking about 
about us. Let's see now if that activates it. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you are not. I am one. Uh, whatever, 20 years. Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of the island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. This is a delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come, as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense to them for me? Please, young man, for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we just need to go back and talk to those young boys and let's see what we can do to help her out. Alrighty, what do you have for us? Yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to because Mrs. Mary asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, huh? Right, bud? Be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of the four, the killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening for a little bit. What do you say, bud? Would you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you can find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that. We won't hide indoors, and we won't leave the island. So look around the, so look around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it? Ready? Go. So just a little game of hide and seek. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you where they are all hidden. Let's start with the main leader. I believe one of them's over here. No, actually, wait. Let's go this way. I think she just wants a kind of a little hidden one. Start right here at this bush and right here. There's that one. And they're gonna run, and I think. We gotta go catch them. So let's catch the little kid. We got it. Okay, next kid should be over here. I think there's one in a tree over here. Right here. You do is roll into it and you knock him down, and it's the leader himself. So let's see if we can catch him. Wish they wouldn't show the little cutscene so you can actually just start chasing them and not pro- Ah! Didn't mean to talk to you, guy. Go away, guy. No, blah, 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 blah. And- Oh! Come here, come here. Perfect. Gotcha. Yar, you got me. You're a pirate now? Now, let's see... This kid... There's one over here, I believe. Go ahead and check this out. Boom, there you are. That's right, kid, run. Okay. Break their legs. Town of joy, more like town of broken legs. So let's try to catch this kid. Perfect. Okay, you got me. Alrighty. And the last kid. Probably one of the little trickier ones to find because don't really think to come out this way. But go ahead and I'll go over here. Walk along the wall here. And we, oh! Ah. Well. Ah. Now that we're in the water, I don't think I've mentioned, but there is a little swimming meter right there on the bottom right. And what that is is that it limits how far you can swim out so that way you won't be swimming to every part of the game super early on when well, they limit everyone but let's do this properly this time and climb behind the building and right here. oh scared me for a bit and let's catch the kid and I wish they wouldn't have shown this. 
At least we know the shortcut bat that way. Okay, let's follow the kid. And you're going down, boy. Yeah, there you go. Aw, oh, lame. Urgh, I can't believe it. You found all four of us, and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. For, from now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide-and-seeking skills, here, take this, bud. And we got a piece of heart, so this is our third one. To our bud, the hide-and-seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Mary for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. As he was saying, let's see if we can, what happens if we go ahead and let them know that we took care of that for her to complete this for us. Oh, Miss Mary, what can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. You did it, didn't you? Something about those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You can't. Re you really are it, dear. And we got a purple rupee. Perfect. So 50 rupees. We needed that after the whole mini game situation so we can buy the sale. That's why I recommended you get all the money in the very beginning of the game. So, Hey, sounds like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Mrs. Mary. And speaking of, bud, did you know that it's going to be Mrs. Mary's birthday soon? Think you should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid. We're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teach loves jewelry and junk and all else the world. Days and call joy pendants. Okay, what they're talking about is that it's another little side quest for starting up here for the joy pendants, which are items you get from enemies when they drop when you kill them. So be good to be on the lookout for that. But dear me, as a traveler, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say that you are a traveler as well. And yes, indeed, could you not purchase that from me? Is if my own and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas above their town, about their town. Please, I beg you, I wish to open a business here in this town and so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? Eh, we'll buy it. Yes, yes, thank you so much, indeed. Precisely 80 rupees for that. Very well, young master. I promise to please take that. And that's where you need to buy the sale. So. Okay. Yes, yes, you have made a good purchase today, my young master. See, around the world. Perfect. Now, that actually does take care of all the side quests that I wanted to do here in Windfall. So let me go ahead and talk to the King of Red Lions. And see what we can do to start set sailing, setting sail onto the Great Sea right now. Back. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, haven't you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail and press... Hoist the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind and which will... It's basically kind of just going over everything, so... Try to adjust your speed. You understand all that? Yes. Going over the sur sailing mechanic, which is not bad, so... Go ahead and... Climb aboard and head east, like he's saying too, so... Convenient thing about this, you don't have to, from the Wind Waker, or the GameCube version of this game, is that you don't have to equip the sail as an item anymore. So now all you have to do is just press A to set sail, and off we go. So it's perfect. Now to the Great Sea. Now this is where everything starts picking up a little more, now that you can actually traverse the land. As you can see, the map is pretty huge. <laughs> So now we can actually start sailing and completing and start our journey mainly. So there's one more thing that I would like to do before actually heading all the way to that island down there that you see. Let 
There's another little island right here in the distance. Let's go ahead and see what this one has in store for us. This would be one of the last side quest things that I'd like to tackle before going to the main island over there. So, as you can see, let's put away our sail and let's go ahead and kind of see what these guys are up to before we go see what the island's on. Let's stop and talk to you. Yo. Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You might, might, you must be searching for treasure in the, the sea floor too, aren't you? <laughs> ha ha, you won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fish? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves, and maybe some others. Ah, sorry, my cat's in the way. And things I've ever heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers from who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it for what you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. We got another treasure chart. Perfect. So that's three right now. And open up on the gamepad or just on your menu, whatever, and talking about how treasure charts work. And all you got to do is just open up your map and they will show you a side on the side right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. The treasure charts on the side, you can flip through them and you just all you have to do is open them and it shows you a map on the a little X on the map. You go there and you find the treasure buried with it. So, if I can get out here. Alrighty, now we are on this island here. What do you have to say? Dragon Roost Island from here. Let's see what this has in store for us. Kind of a little hidden right here, but here's the entrance to this place. Fall down the hole. And here we are. Nice optional little side place to come. Let's see what it has in store. And these are choo choos, I believe is what they're called. There's red and there's a green one, but right now we're just seeing the reds. And they drop the color of Chew Jelly, the, depending on what color the ones you're fighting. So in our case, the red ones. Only two. So let's see what this way leads to. No, let's go the other way. Blocked off. And what do we have here? More Chew Jelly. Let me get rid of them. Oh. Lucky hit. And only one chew jelly. And there was a treasure chest. Let's see what it has. And we got another piece of heart. This is our fourth one. And we completed a whole unit of health. So now we have four hearts. Which is useful. Especially for hero mode. <laughs> so continuing on out of here. Let's go ahead and set sail for the next island and quit wasting so much time. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. There you are. And the good thing is that he always just sits wherever you last left him or somewhat near. So that way you like he won't be left way out in the ocean. So you're good there. And the good thing about sailing on the sea, um, they don't let you just sit there and just sail all in an empty space. There's always a bunch of random things to come out and make this place a little more lively. Like for example, here you see a random sail with a bokoblin on it, but we'll go ahead and skip him for now. And the good thing is compared to the GameCube version of this one, they made the sailing a little bit faster as, as opposed from the beginning which took a little bit but it wasn't 
too slow, but it made it a little bit faster, which was pretty good. So what do we have here? There, on the horizon. That is our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. Okay, welcome to Dragon Roost Island. I think one of the very catchier themes on this game. I really like it a lot. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request hit from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply used using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be some of use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First conduct in three to four time. Do not touch. Okay. Up, down, right. Kind of just explaining how to use it. This is this is game's version of like the ocarina, but it plays a little differently. Instead of pressing random buttons, you go in time depending on the signature that you leave it on. So for example, we had to change it by going right here, not four time on the left stick. Up, right, left, down. So we're our little music conductor ourselves. And there's also a four six four time, but we won't get into that way later. So the legendary wind waker. So I'm explaining how to use it. Perfect. So now we arrived in Dragon Roost Island. But we won't go ahead and explore it in the next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe on the next episode, we'll go ahead and see what Dragon Roost Island has in store for us. See you guys then.